feminism in Bollywood is ruining our minds. Look at what kind of dress they are wearing. If a girl wears this kind of dress and goes out, obviously the boys would get distracted, right? That was a joke. But this video is not about this kind of jokes. It's about a serious issue that Bollywood is silently doing and is being normalized in the society in the name of feminism. And if you also feel the same, please share it with others and make sure to spread the word. Whether we like it or not, cinema plays a significant role in our lives. We are highly being influenced by cinema. We as a society evolved in so many ways because of cinema. Cinema has normalized a lot of things which were once considered a taboo. But the same cinema is now normalizing things which shouldn't be normalized in any society. Lipstick Under My Baga is one of the popular Bollywood feminist film which talks about the life of four women. In that movie, there's an old woman who pretends to be a young girl on the phone and honey traps a young man. They do all kind of things like sex chatting and all. But when they met in real, the guy got disgusted seeing an old woman and shouted at her for cheating him. It was all fine until they portrayed that old woman as the victim of this incident. There's nothing wrong in being sexually active at an old age even with a young man. But what about consent? How can we justify honey trapping? Let's imagine reversing the gender. A 60-year-old man pretends to be a young man and honey traps a 25-year-old woman. When she comes to know about it, she gets mad and feels really disgusted about it. Now who is the victim here? The young woman or the old man? Obviously the young woman right? Because she was the one who got cheated. Then how come this 60-year-old woman becomes a victim in this movie and lectures about sexual freedom? In the same movie, there is another character where a woman in her engagement function leaving her fiancé on the stage has intercourse with her lover. And once that is over, without any sort of guilt or regret, she goes and stands with her fiancé. And by the way, that was not a forced marriage. She was willingly getting engaged to that guy. You can ask this question. There are a lot of movies where men do this kind of characters why nobody is questioning that well in those movies those men are villains not the protagonist or the lead of the movie and those villains are always portrayed in the negative way and most importantly they don't give lecture or any message after doing all those shitty activities and there's a web series called Bombay Begum so one of the lead characters is trying to get pregnant but she couldn't so she herself suggested her husband to try surrogacy when that worked out she feels left out which is completely understandable but then she goes out and cheats on her husband with her colleague not just once but multiple times. And in the climax, the series portrayed her as the victim whereas the actual victim is her husband who got cheated by his wife. And there's another web series called Four More Shots Please which is super problematic. It portrays the life of four independent women and all four of them are equally toxic. In this series, one of the lead Anjana who is a single mother gets in relationship with a junior and they move in together. But when she she realized that he is serious about this relationship, she dumped him right there. And that's not even the problem. You know what's the problem? She cries it and makes it all about herself, saying how hard it is to be a single mother. And there's another lead, Damini, who's a very bold woman, gets in relationship with a nice guy, Jay. When he is waiting for her at the cafe with his parents, she cheats on him with another guy. And I don't really understand how they are portraying sex as a thing that happens by mistake. It's not like you slipped and fell down, it's a long process. But this bold independent woman Damini cheats on her boyfriend multiple times while literally staying in the same house with him. When he started getting suspicious about it, as usual she cries and portrays herself as the victim. I don't really want to go on narrating all the toxicity they do in this series in the name of feminism. But my question is, why all the bold women characters in the movie are just mindlessly having sex with people? Why their entire lives are literally revolved around sex? Why are we refusing to see the fact that this so-called modern cinema is again picturizing women only related with sex all the time? Do they really think women are not good enough for anything else? If it's a brave man, he should be fighting. If it's a bold woman, she should be having sex. It's the unwritten rule in the modern Bollywood cinema. Why so? There's another famous web series called Maiden heaven which portrays the life of two wedding planners Tara and Karan. Tara
Sharma, coming from a lower middle class family, seduces a boss who was already engaged and has intercourse with him and then deliberately releases that videotape to get married to him. After marriage, that guy cheated on her so they are filing for divorce and she gets in relationship with that nice guy. But she, while being in a relationship with that nice guy, sleeps with the ex-husband to get the big bungalow as the divorce settlement. When that guy tried to tell her how this is not right, she says, please don't think you can ever make the decision for me. Please don't think you can ever make the decision for me. These are such powerful words. I strongly agree on this one. Nobody should ever make decisions for a woman but herself. As a 26 year old woman, be it my father, brothers or even husband, none of them can make decisions for me. But if your partner don't even have a say about your life decisions, What's the point of being in a relationship? And I can go on with these kind of characters in the Bollywood cinema. Honestly, I have no problem in the portrayal of any of these characters. There are all kind of people in the society. There are cheaters, there are selfish people, there are perverts. So the portrayal of these characters is not the issue. But portraying them as the lead of the cinema and justifying their actions is a serious issue. We common people are highly being influenced by cinema. It's an inevitable fact. Cinema is a very powerful powerful tool and it's our responsibility to use it wisely. It's not wrong for a 60 year old woman to fall in love but it's wrong to honey trap someone and how can we ever justify cheating? You know I see a lot of people say even the filmmakers are marketing the film saying these are characters with flaws. These are not characters with flaws. These are characters without morals. These are characters without any kind of ethics. Doesn't matter if it's a man or woman. These kind of characters shouldn't be normalized in any society and by normalizing this we are misguiding a whole generation I'm sure a lot of you must have seen Queen a naive girl who got ditched by her fiance a day before her wedding goes on honeymoon by herself and comes back as the confident young happy woman this is feminism and there's this movie Tuppert where the lead character who was a housewife got slapped by her husband once and she was not ready to take it even if it means for once this is the kind of feminist movies we should be celebrating and there's a movie called secret superstar where a teenage girl tries to follow her passion against a toxic father and when he tried to take it away from her her innocent mother who was a victim of domestic violence stands up for her daughter and leaves her husband this is the kind of women empowerment cinema we want and finally pink doesn't matter what the girl is wearing doesn't matter if she's drunk or not doesn't matter if she's virgin or not if the girl says no it's a no no means no. This is the kind of feminist movies we want. Again, are there no characters like Tara and Anjana in real life? There are for sure, but they are not the kind of characters that should be glorified. A lead, a protagonist of the film should be someone with high moral values, should be someone who stands by the right even if it means to lose everything because of it. That's the kind of characters we should be getting influenced by, not by someone who honey traps and cheats on their partner and do all sort of ugly things for their own benefits. I'm such a movie maniac. I watch a lot of films, especially Bollywood. I love them. Jab Bhi Mai, Three Idiots, Queen, Tangle, Pink. These are some movies I highly got influenced from. A part of my characters is literally shaped out of these movies. So seeing the portrayal of these kind of characters without any moral values and most importantly, seeing the common people praising these characters is really disappointing for me. And I don't really understand how a bold woman is being portrayed as someone who has sex all the time. Is that all we are good at? Sexual desire is a basic need for both men and women and it's really great to see how things are being slowly normalized but we should be very careful with how we are doing it. Cheating, honey trapping and using others for our own pleasures shouldn't be normalized. I really loved how the movie Kehrayan handled this issue. They clearly portrayed how infidelity comes with its own consequences and the younger generation is closely watching you. So Bollywood, Please be responsible at your work.